Neighbors, Rectangular back, this time with another haul video. Well, I had the fortune of making a trip down to Southern California and was able to hook up with a lot of the guys from the community down there. Um, most of the guys I hadn't really spoke too much on Facebook, but my good friend uh, Michael Wisman, I've known for couple years now we're both uh, admins in the ACBA group and consider him one of my closest friends uh, on Facebook at least and been wanting to meet him for a long time but he lives uh, it's about a nine hour drive from where I live California's gigantic state so finally had a way to make it down there and he was able to hook me up with some flight stands here on the left. He actually made uh, six, so um, this is just three of the six. The other three are the same size, so I have two of each size. And if you're interested in purchasing some of those flight stands, you can do so on the ACBA uh, store, online store. and. Um, the he I know he made a, um, several small batches and then eventually we're gonna have um, a large batch but I think he's been making the first small batches um, so gives you an idea of what they look like and um, yeah I know Boog's been uh, very happy with them and uh, and they're extremely nice quality if you're familiar with Michael Wisman you know his cutouts are are beyond crispy so um, you know he he has very high attention to detail and um, level of quality. So uh, rest assured, what you're what you're getting is going to be um, excellent. Uh, and also he was able to pick up some of these um, small lights that um, a lot of people use in the uh, dio structure group. Uh, I was able to snag some once here at my local um, dollar store, but. Uh, he has some more dollar stores near him so he grabbed some of those for me and um, then later uh, Michael and I and the other guys from the group we had um, Henry Beltran, uh, Diego and Fabio who are both uh, great ACBA artists and um, Dio builders as well at least uh, I'm not too sure Fabio does Dios but I know uh, Diego does he it goes by the DMC and um, Fabio goes by uh, Captain Cracker. No, Colonel Crackers. Sorry about that. So um, yeah, you can check out their work on um, on Facebook and Instagram. I know um, uh, Fabio is on Instagram under Colonel Crackers. But um, all three of those guys. Oh, oh and I also got to meet. Um, Adrian Beltran, so both Beltran brothers, and uh, all four of the, all five of those guys are really great people. We had a really good time hanging out, and um, going to be putting up footage of our um, walking around a comic book store where I found these um, Citadel paints. It was Michael's local comic book store, and um, and I also interviewed um, four of those guys, and we'll be putting up some clips from those interviews on ACBA Saturday so definitely check in to ACBA Saturday on the community channel page next week and um, you'll be able to check out um, some clips from the interviews that I conducted with those guys speaking of these uh, Citadel paints um, uh, a lot of you probably familiar that I'm working on a giant man custom and just was not happy with the paints that I had uh, I use model masters and uh, recently got some Vallejos which I'm more happy with but I uh, just don't I have a very small selection of paints so when I was down there and saw these uh, Citadels I know uh, most of the best customizers and dial builders um, use Citadel paints which you can pretty much just get at comic book stores or online um, I had to uh, pull the trigger on them, so um, got some reds to finish my giant man and uh, some flesh tone. You can never have enough different colors of flesh tone, and then a blue. So um, the blue may be used on my giant man. I don't know. Um, I'll have to 
see how it, it turns out but um, you can never have enough different base colors you know your um, reds greens and blues you can just never have enough shades and uh, flesh tones um, and I picked up uh, some of those build a straws which um, if you're familiar with the dio structure group you know a lot of guys use those um, I had some already but uh, you can never have enough and for a dollar a piece there if you see them you definitely want to grab them because um, these especially they come in two different sizes and um, they work perfectly for uh, doing different um, piping in, in dios. And for some pavement I grabbed this uh, a couple bags of this um, black sand also at the dollar store and um, you know gonna be brushing that onto some uh, foam board to make um, gravel uh, you know pavement. I'm planning on doing a pretty big uh, city um, dio and um, you know need that to add to the realism of the of the pavement. And then I grabbed a couple of these um, for blood effects, um, you know, guys who get uh, shot by Punisher, etc., and uh, they're laying in their own pool of blood. Um, you know, I'll probably add some more paint of my own, but, um, you know, the, that's great already. You know, it's, uh, it's already got a nice dark, deep red to it, and, um, you know, I don't have to try to mess with um, trying to make some out of um, hot wax of my own and uh, just end up making a mess so um, very cool and yeah that's pretty much it for my um, Southern California haul with the uh, ACBA group and um, let's move on to the next group of items Nothing real exciting or sexy here, just some fine surface primer spray paint from Tamiya or Tamaya. Uh, I used uh, Tamiya paints growing up for models that I used to do um, as a teenager and uh, needed something to cover up the wings on my Swiftwind figure so that I can use that for my Valkyrie. But uh, wasn't quite sure what to use since it's a kind of a softer rubber type material you don't want to use anything with enamel or solvents in it because it will dissolve the plastic or rubber so I hit up my friend uh, John Papa Sergio who's a great customizer in the community um, definitely check out his work and asked him you know what did he recommend uh, for for a primer and I specifically wanted a gray primer so that I could uh, just spray paint the wings gray and then go over on top of them with uh, white paint that way I have an undercoat of gray for some shading so he recommended I get this stuff and was able to find it on Amazon I believe and it was like eleven dollars shipped so um, you know a little bit pricey for such a small can of paint but you know, I totally trust his advice and uh, looking forward to getting that customization done to my figure. All right, I will show you guys how that turns out in a later episode. Here we have a Ben 10 figure that I found on eBay. Not familiar with the series. In fact, I can't even remember what this the name of this character or figure is called, but I really liked the design. And I'm always looking for such generic sci-fi figures that I can do kip ashes with. This figure unfortunately has little, very little articulation. It has two swivels in the shoulders and two swivels in the hips. So, you know, pretty much just a, a glorified statue. Um, I'm planning on doing some slight repainting on it to make it look a little more unique and not quite identifiable with uh, Ben 10. Uh, eventually I'm hoping I can maybe remove the head and, and use that on another figure as well, more articulated uh, body, but in the meantime, you know, I think he's going to work great for just a, you know, generic sci-fi character in the background and especially with, um, with some more paint added to it, I, th I think it'll look really cool. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the last item. 
Finally this week from Marvel Select we have Mephisto. Wow, I have been wanting this figure for a very long time. I uh, did not want to pay the exorbitant price that he goes for. Typically in the package you're going to pay probably around a hundred dollars with shipping uh, well up into the close to two hundred dollar range. Even loose with the throne you're looking at between sixty and seventy dollars shipped and, and up and I'm not a huge fan of Doctor Strange but now that we're getting a new Doctor Strange and we're getting that Doctor Strange box set I figured I need to get a Mephisto I wouldn't surprise wouldn't surprise me at all if we end up getting a Mephisto when the Doctor Strange movie comes out but I wanted to get him just in case we don't end up getting one and this is a a really solid figure and it I from what I understand Diamond Select has no plans to uh, re-release this figure. I don't think they have the mold anymore uh, just like with the Watcher figure. So I uh, was able to get this from a gentleman on Facebook. Um, his name is Will Edwards so definitely um, hit him up. He's trying to sell off a good portion of his collection and uh, he gave me a really good deal on this guy. He does actually have one uh, that's loose with the throne, but like I said, I didn't want to pay um, the extra amount to get the throne. Um, and I'm, but I, I would like to find the throne loose for an, a low price if that's possible, or if somebody has cast it, um, I'd be interested in getting one. Otherwise, I'm probably going to either try to make my own or hit up um, a customizer or artist. My girlfriend's um, cousins are uh, extremely good artists so I might try to commission them to make me one but um, yeah very happy to get this figure he's in really good condition um, you know he's Marvel Select so the articulation is fair but um, he, the sculpt is amazing the only thing that's really wrong with him is um, the arm here is a little warped so I'm hoping I can uh, heat that up with some hot water or hair dryer and uh, try to straighten that out a little bit but I'm um, very happy to finally get this guy um, kind of a, a holy grail for me um, just because I you know didn't want to pay a huge amount for this figure and uh, like I said I got a really good deal and he actually sent me a bunch of um, collect and connect pieces for uh, DC build a figures and um, most of them I don't really have a use for. I don't. You know, I'm not a DC collector, and he um, generously gave them to me, thinking that I could use them for uh, kid bashes. But um, unfortunately, um, I don't really have any other figures that I might be able to connect them with. I'm hoping to get the torso for Kalibok, um either version, and um, that way I can complete that build a figure or collect and connect figure and um, and then do you know probably a repaint or a kit bash on that um, but if if I don't uh, I don't find a use for these other parts I'm probably just gonna donate them to the um, FSP that uh, Boog's been running for um, many years now where he uh, gives out um, figures and parts for figures for um, kids in the community who don't have the money or uh, resources to get their hands on this stuff so that's probably what that these uh, parts are end up going uh, I've got like f now I have four legs for steel and um, I can't even remember all the other uh, build a figure pieces I have that I've been trying to get rid of for a long time and um, nobody's interested in buying them so probably just send them to Boog and uh, he'll put them in the FSP all right, well, thanks so much for watching, you guys. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will. I've been uh, very happy to finally get over 1,700 subscribers and um, hoping to reach 2,000 by the end of the year. That would be amazing. Um, really appreciate all your support. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up. And I always love hearing from you guys, so please leave a comment below. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.
Tourists. 